Hey everyone, it's PJ here at Milford Photo. Just want to come to you today, give you some points, tips, tricks, you know, a little help and guidance about how to load your 35 millimeter film cameras. Today we're going to be looking at how to load it and how to unload it. We're going to go over both a manual camera. This is going to be, we're going to do it on a Pentax K1000. And I'm also going to show you how to do it on a camera that's going to auto load it because those can also be kind of tricky. Now, this is going to give you a general guidance. Each camera is different, so it's not going to be exactly the same for every camera. It's going to be similar, but not exact. All right, so let's jump into it. First, you're going to need film and a camera, obviously. All right, so we're going to start with uh, the Pentax. This, you're going to start with opening the back of the camera, which kind of became more standardized in the late 50s, 60s. Uh, with this pull up here, you're pulling up the rewind uh, spinner dial. Here, you pull that up and you pull it up more and the back will pop off. Before that, they would have multiple different features. They'd have down here, they'd have a twist, which would pop the back, or sometimes they'd have a lever down here, which you'd pull and it'd pop the back. But that is pretty much why well, you're gonna start off, you're gonna start off by popping the back open and then you're gonna open the back the rest of the way and knock over your camera. Then you're gonna get your roll of film. You're gonna make sure the leader is out. If your leader's not out, you more than likely already shot it you're not going to want to put it back in anyway, so it's always a good measure to roll your roll all the way back in. And then from here, there's two different ways you can go. I personally like doing it in the way where you put the leader in first and then pull it across. I find that a bit easier. But then you could also put the canister in first and then pull the leader across. I'll show you how to do both. And you can figure out what's easier for you. So we're going to do the leader in first. You're going to find the slots in the farthest spindle here on the right. You're going to pop the leader in. You're just going to shove it in there, make sure the bottom of the film is at the bottom of that spool, and then you just lay the film down across and pop it down. And then you're going to want to pop that rewind lever back in, fire a shot, and advance the film. And once it goes across like that, you know that the film got taken up. Then you close the back of your film, back of your camera, and what I normally do to make sure it's loaded and tight is you turn that rewind dial a few times until it's, it kind of gives you a resistance. You can't really push it as easily anymore. That way you know that the film is tight in there. Fire it, advance, fire it, advance until you get to one on the counter here, which right there. And as you saw when I was advancing it, that was spinning. So I know that my film was loaded on there correctly and I'm actually taking shots, which is another important reason that you usually want to tighten it if the film isn't tight in the spool, it's not gonna spin. And if it's not spinning, it could tell you that it's not tight or that you're not taking pictures. So you wanna do everything in your power to make sure you know you're taking your pictures and don't miss that important moment. So now that it's loaded, let's make sure we know how to rewind it. At the bottom of the cameras, there's gonna be, and I just noticed this now, our price tag on here for this camera that we have here in store, but underneath our price tag on it, there's gonna be the rewind button which is right here. You press that when, you want, when you're done with your roll and you want to rewind it, and that releases the catch. And then you're going to go back up here to your rewind lever, and you start spinning it in the direction that the arrow is pointing. And you do that until you don't feel any more resistance. And I tend to do about three or four more spins afterwards just to make sure you don't want to accidentally expose any roll. And then you just do the same thing. Pull that up, pop the back open, and your film is out and ready to get processed. All right, now let's take a look at the other way to do it with this manual camera, the way I typically don't do it, but a lot of people find it very easy to do. This one, we're gonna put the canister in first, and then we pull the leader across the camera, trying not to knock over the camera, and you put it back into the slot here like we did before, and you push it in until it kind of clicks, and same as before, you fire and advance until it's kind of tight. Give it a close. Pop that down, make sure it's tight, and you advance until one. And as you saw with that, it was spinning. No, we got it loaded incorrectly. I personally, as you could probably tell, I was a little sloppier with that one. I find putting the leader in first easier for myself. You know, it's up to you. It's a trial and error basis on your part, figuring out what works better for you.
All right, now let's take a look at doing this with a camera that has a motor drive in it that advances the film for you automatically. These also auto load your film, so you don't have to worry about loading into a spindle like you do with the manual camera. This, you put it into a line and then it's gonna automatically grab it and wrap it onto the other side for you and start loading it. So for this one, we got another Pentax. This one is a IQ Zoom. Uh, let's take a look at how this works. This one it actually opens the opposite direction, but it's very simple. It has this little button lever right here that just pops the back open. That's it, back is open and closed. <laughs> so on this, what a lot of people find difficult, let me see if I can angle it right for the camera, um, is making sure that the film is loaded to the right spot because it is actually very particular and it's kind of annoying. You have to get it right, you have to get the tip of the film right there. If it goes too far, it's not gonna catch. If it's not far enough, it's not gonna catch. And it does take a little bit getting used to to make sure you're right on the money with it. So you're gonna take your film, you're gonna pop it in, and you're gonna bring it right across till it's right there with the line. So try, kind of trying to keep it angled with the camera so you can kind of see, because it is hard to see it's printed on the side here where film with a little arrow. Um, and that's what you want. That's where you want it set. And then you should just be able to close it. And it, here it go. And then it automatically jumps to one. If you don't load it correctly, it's gonna for a while and then not show you one. It's just gonna stay at zero. That's how you know it didn't load correctly. If it stays at zero, it's not correct. I'll see right now if I can get it to do that. No promises. Um, with these cameras, um, you know, anyone's choice really. Um, so loaded it a little short there, you know, right it's up to that retriever, but you know, one might think, you know, it'll, oh, it's there, it'll catch. But you know, pop it in and it starts flashing E for empty. That's how you know it didn't catch. You put film in, but it didn't catch it and you won't be taking any pictures. So with that, you kind of just bring it all the way over and close it again, try again, and you're at one. It's simple as that. And then on these, it automatically rewinds to you when you get to the end, so you don't have to worry about that. However, sometimes, you know, you get halfway through a wall, you shot some really cool stuff, you don't really know what else to shoot, and you really want those first half of those photos. So conveniently, there is a little button right here. Let me see if I can get something to push it. Most people use a pen. That's what I'm gonna use. Turn the camera on. And it is only at one, so it's not gonna be really long because I didn't take any pictures. You just push that button and it rewinds your film automatically no matter where you are in the film. And the nice thing is that's just gonna keep going until it's all the way in. And you just open your back up and it's all in and you're all set, ready to go get your photos developed. I hope you guys found that helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to stop by, give us a call, comment on this video. We'll definitely try and help you out getting your film loaded. And once you have your film shot, bring it on into Milford Photo. We could process it for you and get you some scans and get you on your way. Have a good one.